It's your man Slow Key Ferg. I don't got the mic right now, but if you can hear me, I'm gonna come here to talk real quick. But it ain't gonna be no long. Get to it. Um, I was doing some research and um, my way of researching is getting active, getting in the community, getting with the people, right? And when I was getting with these people, it's like everybody. It, it seems to be afraid of love or afraid of feeling like they're worthy of love or loving they self and it's like I wanted to come here and say you can't be afraid of receiving love to your heart chakra you can't be afraid of opening up to love cause like you know I know love is uncontrollable I know a lot of y'all um y'all look at love as like not real but you, your imagination can make it real um and it's like being afraid of it, of love, and you know, it's gonna keep you stagnant, keep you in a place of um, a very, yeah, the world's cruel, nobody, nobody wants me. Like, you're choosing to see the world like that because you don't wanna op open your heart up to love. And I just wanted to come here and say like, a way to open, like a way to trust, um, trust that you know it's okay to accept love is to just embrace it embrace yourself and you know it's gonna make yourself love more stronger and connected though because um i was teaching uh like somebody like i was teaching oh um in person um some meditation on stuff like that and then she's like she got scared she said she gets scared for closing her eyes too long or something and i was like um that's really just you saying that you're afraid of like you know love like you might feel like a tingly feeling in your chest while you like you know in that meditative state me and her were uh, doing some breathing exercises and while we were meditating and i walked out so she could like be alone in her own presence and she couldn't keep her eyes closed for longer than two minutes so it's like if you are able to embrace love and try to do things that can put you in a space of, in a state of being in love where you know it doesn't affect you as much and when it comes to when, when it comes to like trying to, you know, get into a direction of love, like new love, make sure you lose all baggages, make sure you ain't in it to prove somebody else wrong, and make sure you ain't, um, you know, you just, you don't, you don't um, come to it with uh, prejudgments, and you know, just take, just take it as is, and, and that's how way how you could accept the love instead of. Usually people fear or afraid of love because um, when it comes to they past events, it could have been somebody who who made them, showed them that this is what happens when you love. And then they, ever since that day, they just run away from anybody who who comes with that type of, like, you know, uh, they could see you making the same patterns or doing something the same in a way. And that could be, and that could be the reason that, um, you afraid of love because you think every time love comes around this this same event is gonna happen and you know it's really if it did come out to play like that it's because you thought of it um i mean you thought that event to come into existence but yeah you know i just i was just honored to come out and let people know like you don't you don't have to be afraid of love you don't have to be afraid of loving yourself. You don't have to be afraid of getting love or receiving love. You don't have to be afraid of giving love either. Love is nothing that you could be afraid of. Love is uncontrollable and love can make you stronger. Love could bring you to doing incredible things. But a lot of people that I notice now in this world, they afraid of love. They afraid to show love. They afraid to um, like, Everybody will show hate before they show love. Like, not everybody though. One percent will show love though. But most of everybody, they'll show hate before they show love. So I want to tell y'all, don't be afraid to 
to embrace love, show love, or be loved. Peace. I love you. Stay safe.